This shows like your record collection come to life. And if you loved a bit of full-on romance, our next act was probably on your turntable. It's Cutting Crew's Nick Van Eed. <laughs> Their debut album broadcast sold in excess of three million copies. I Just Died In Your Arms went number one in 18 countries. Lead singer Nick Van Eed was once asked to audition for Genesis. Imagine this. You're 19 years old, you're working as a hospital orderly, and Jimi Hendrix's old manager, Chaz Chandler, signs you up to be a pop star. That's exactly what happened to Cutting Crew's Nick Van Eed. He learned his craft as a support act for the likes of Slade and Hot Chocolate. When the crew release died in your arms, the band hit the road. We've got to go to America very soon, because we've been celebrating lately. Big success at the moment in the States. Yeah, just single top ten this week. Brilliant. And uh, chart action over here as well. Soon will be, yeah. Here are the cutting crew. That song was just the start. They hit the top with other multi-million selling singles and supported the likes of Tina Turner, The Bangles and Huey Lewis and The News, while Bon Jovi was a self-confessed cutting crew fan. In 1993, the band split up, leaving Nick to go on to write, record and manage bands, including producing the original demo version of Cher's monster hit, Believe. Co-founder Kevin McMichael continued his career as a guitarist until he died in 2002. But tonight, his musical partner keeps the flame alive because he's back. Hitting us one more time with I Just Died In Your Arms, he's live, he is Nick Van E. with the cutting crew that a lot of musical artists in this country would love to do. You cracked and broke America. How did that feel? Obviously amazing, um, but I think after 19 years, it's time to bring it back and play it on British TV again, eh? And we appreciate that. Now, you're still very much in the music business. You're writing a new album. It's coming out at the end of the year. But how do you think the music industry has changed since you guys were, like, huge? I think it's the internet. I really think it's the one thing. Our album is out on it. I think it gives a lot of bands opportunities to not do it the obvious way through the record companies and so on. So, yeah, buy it. Wow, how, how times have changed. OK, what cover are you going to do for us later? I'm doing the amazing Macy Gray's I Try. Nick Van Eed! Three classic artists have given us 